this video right here is going to show you how quickly it is to install Dream Linux. Now, Ubuntu has always given me problems. Um, I like something that is simple, something that's not, you know, difficult. You know, something where I can start out, maybe, um, you know, start out simple and then get complicated. I don't want complicated off the bat for something that ends up being simple later on. And anyway, this video right here, I'm going to show you. That's my shared folder. Uh, let's get it started here. Um, let's see. Dream. Linux. Mm -hmm. I always give it 8 gigs. Just so the application doesn't turn around and tick me off by saying, we're low on energy, you know, or hard drive or whatever. Now, I have the OS on a CD, therefore, it would just be in the CD drive. Pretty cool, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But obviously, if it was on a US, on a uh, USB, not USB, but like a thumb drive of some sort, you would put it in a thumb drive. And this right here always kind of freaks me out. Codes! 10,000 codes! Now, after this gets to install it, I'm going to show you a little something that you can do with it that involves your iPod. But for now, we're just waiting on this to boot. Now, the problem I had with Ubuntu in general was the fact that no matter what I did, it would not mount my iPod. I tried Ubuntu, Kumbutu. Uh, I tried Mint Linux, you know, Puppy Linux, I tried Damn Small Linux, none of it will mount my iPod, and even that, uh, Fedora, none of it would mount my iPod, and I'm like, you know, I went through the whole thing of having it mounted, having it loaded, having it desk, codex, topped in, God knows how much codes into uh in the terminal you know all that stuff just to you know get my ipod to show up realizing i couldn't get music off my ipod and realizing since i had no videos on it i couldn't get the videos off of it so it would just be some all that work for an icon and i'm like you know that is not worth it So, um, you know, I tried this one, and automatically, um, you know, automatically it showed up. It was on my MacBook, and I ejected it via iTunes, and it showed up. And I was able to, like, go into it, look around, and everything. That was that was pretty awesome. Now again, this is already on my computer. Now I don't know if this is technically installed or if it's just reading off my uh, CD. I'm guessing it is, but um, you know, you might want to mount it onto your hard drive. For this, I'm just going to show you what it reading off the disk. Now, I'm going to plug my iPod in and I'm going to do this in full screen.